Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name's Root Negative and let's get cracking. Today we're going to build a liquid splitter. Now I'm assuming that everyone is familiar with the normal kind of belt splitter. Okay, that takes uh, whatever it's coming in and splits it 50-50 onto the two output lines. So that, uh, that's a pretty useful thing and you can see that all throughout my factory I use them extensively. I love, I love belt splitters. Uh, they're kind of my thing. But uh, we've never had a splitter that splits liquids. So that's what I've got here. Uh, it's a pretty simple build, so I'm going to demonstrate it first of all. And then we're going to tear it apart and I'm going to show how it works. Now, what have we got? Uh oh, what have I broken? I've broken something. Ah. Hmm. Huh. Gonna, oops, I shouldn't have done that, but anyway. Just gonna have to let a little bit of water in just to prime the system. Uh, cause otherwise this isn't gonna work. <laughs> um, right. Uh, you need to be hooked up to here. Now this needs to be zero greater than zero. Now, uh, what we've got here, this is just monitoring what is in these two tanks. So you can see that the two numbers are very, very similar. We have 350 in the top tank and 380 in the bottom tank. Now, the way this works is it's using the power of combinators. The combinators are just comparing what's in either tank and being like, right, well, we need some more on the right. We need some more on the left. We need some more on the right. Back to the left. And that's all it's doing, okay? This isn't very fast. It is, in fact, very, very slow. You can see that the average is probably, yeah, about two water per second. The good thing is though we can split 50 50 this this is pretty well perfect now if we add a drain to either side it should it should keep doing what it's doing um, unless the drain is uneven if the drain is uneven um, then you've got problems that's why you would probably need some some pumps on either side if I get this to drain Okay. You can see that it'll drain quicker than it can fill up, which is fine. Uh, but uh, we want to make sure that this is equal. Now let's let's pull this apart because this is very much a um, just a proof of concept. I know that there are many improvements one could make on this, so let's pull it apart and see how it works. Now, the first thing is that we've got two tanks. We need these tanks to monitor the levels. Uh, we can connect. Uh, the circuit network to both the tanks and that gives us a read of how much is in each tank ergo how much has gone to each side but remember we want to keep this balanced we want to keep 50 50 either side now the next thing that we do is we take the signal from the tank and we just translate it into something else because the thing about um combinators and if i was to oh not a, an iron axe i built an iron axe why why on earth would I need an iron axe? Right, so if I have this here, okay, and I power it up. Now, if I was to try and compare these two straight away, okay, I'll grab a wire from there, and a wire from there. You can see that the input signal is 2.9k. Uh oh, it's added things together. <laughs> so this is this is why it's not good <laughs> um basically what happens is when you put two signals together it just adds them together see this this needs to be ah, i know what i did wrong i'll go red wire from here green wire from here Oop. come on you can see that the input signal is 3.4k but that's not what we want we want two separate signals that we can compare. So we want the red signal and the green signal. We want tank A and tank B. So that's what I've got here. I've got this, it's just saying, okay, we'll take whatever's in this tank and just change it into a generic signal of B, okay? And then it feeds it in here. This does the same thing up here. It changes it into signal A. Now these two combinators, all they do is they just assess, okay, is there less, is there less water in tank A than tank B? If so, send out a signal zero and that fires the pump. 
and this does the opposite. Is there less in tank B than there is in tank A if there is fire the pump? And in this way, we can control how much water is going in each direction. Now, some, some problems. Um, obviously, when it's empty, it doesn't fire. Um, ooh, now here's an idea. Here's an idea. I could add in a third combinator. Okay. Yep, I could add in a third combinator that controls when, if it's empty, it just fires both pumps. If both of these are empty, both pumps are going. So that's the, the next upgrade, I think. Now, how would we do that? Well, we have signal A and signal B. We need to assess what's going to happen, right? I need to order some stuff. I need to go shopping. Bring me some stuff. So let's let's see if we can get this worked out right here, right now. Phone. <laughs> Phone, Reg. Okay, so we're pretty much empty now. So we've got it to a state where nothing's working. Now, if I was to plug this back in, okay, because it, it's not technically either. Well, here's, here's the other thing, right? Okay, um, that didn't work how I'd hoped it would. And that's because there's a zero coming in, okay? You can't, it's, it's relying. What if I do that? Oh, I see. I see, the, the pumps are still connected. Nah, it's still in that little uh, that little state where it's not uh, not getting out of it. There, now it'll go. That'll go nice. But um, that's uh, that's not what we want. We want it to work reliably. So. With that in mind, basically we just need to say, all right, well, when when it's equal to zero, when the input signals are equal to zero, just fire one of the pumps. I think we, we just keep it easy and, and let the and let the combinators really sort it out for themselves. Okay, so this this is yep yeah, when. Everything is less than one set. Output signal zero to one. And then we'll reach this over. That is pump one, right? It's pump zero, okay. Pump zero. Okay. Oh, we have full water. Take that, and we'll take that. We'll lace this down, lace this down. And we will disconnect that for a moment. Now, theoretically, this little one should fire. After, after these two hit zero, it should uh, it should fire. It should become an output signal. Boom! There's the output signal. So, if I put this back in. Ooh, I need two. Okay, that's a bugger. Right, I need uh, I need two, one to drive each pump. What I'll do is place them over the side. There, there. 
And these are these are gonna check for if it's zero. Zero, zero, good. Turn off, turn off. Uh, right. Um, so the input needs to be on the top side. This is obviously going to get very, very messy. And there would be neater ways of doing this. Input. Oop. Need you to go there. Okay, so. Wait. No, I only need one per side. So this one can drive this pump. And, yep. I know what I'm doing. I don't need to cross them now. Okay. There like that. Oop. There like that. Hook this to here. This one's going to drive that. So this, these little ones are just going to see. They're going to be like, well, is there nothing in the tanks? If there's nothing, I'm going to drive my little pump. So, um, does this, this one's output A. So if output A is less than one set, okay, it's going to output signal zero of one. So this, this right now is firing. Oh, I've built over the top. Okay. Back that up a little bit. Computer here. And then maybe a green one will be easier to see to there. Okay, same instructions. Signal A is great or less than one. Set. Okay, so there's there's pretty much nothing in the tank. We're gonna drive our little pump. Yep, that's true. Copy and paste this, that's gonna become B and that's gonna become that. Now, if I place this in, it fires. Hey, look at that. What if I place a drain upon it? I need, I need another check, I need another check. Um, go one, two, Three. One. So this will be the final thing that we do. We want to see what kind of resources we're getting out of it. Theoretically, it'll be close to similar. Yeah, pretty close. It's not perfect, um, and it wouldn't be perfect unless you, you know, didn't have a complete drain upon it. Can see right now that it's it's really nicely balanced so that ladies and gentlemen is how you build a liquid splitter in factorio uh, with a little bit of built-in error checking for zeros a pretty simple build it's just comparing tank a with tank b and then driving some pumps based upon what's happening and i don't have to do any thinking which is the best bit so I'd love to see you improve upon it this is just a proof of concept to show that you can build a liquid splitter in factorio Enjoy playing around with this one and be sure to um, to send it to me if you do manage to improve this somewhat.